Okay, um, McKinley and 2nd Street, or 2nd uh, Avenue. Street? Avenue? Street? Avenue. Anyways, uh, here in uh, downtown Phoenix, and what you are looking at is the closed gates of what used to be the LGBT Center that uh, opened um, shortly before I left uh, Phoenix here. Um, after being uh, on the streets for a year or so, um, yeah, they, they even have a, a forwarding address here. Okay, Phoenix Pride has moved. But uh, anyways, this this building here used to house the LGBT Center, and uh, it it's it's it, it closed recently, and uh, it's it, in a way it's a shame because you know. Uh, when they got this building, uh, they took a lot of time renovating it, uh, cleaning it up, you know. It had sat empty for quite a while here. Um, and so it was renovated and remodeled and stuff like that. So, it, it, but it only lasted like two or three years here on the corner of uh, McKinley and 2nd Street, I guess it is. But, uh, anyways, it's ironic that it closed and that now nobody can go inside here, you know, um, because it's, it's, you know, coming back here and uh, seeing a lot of guys who, who I believe are gay and that who, who I knew, you know, three or four years ago, you know, um, to see them again after three or four years and find out they're still here and they're still doing whatever these guys do um you know we're not talking teenagers we're talking like grown adult men 30 40 years old just not older you know and uh in the year or so that i was on the street here uh, not once was I ever invited back to their place. Not once why was I ever, you know, invited anywhere with them. Attempts to talk to them usually were met with, with uh, insanity or, you know. But uh, it's ironic coming back here now and finding these guys still here. Um... Uh, uh, you know, uh, brothers, shall we call them? I don't know. Uh, and still going to the homeless shelter and hanging around libraries, as gay men are apt to do, I guess. But uh, they're still here. And what's really interesting is that the men that I loved and who, I, who loved me when I was here three years ago are all gone. <laughs> they are not here anymore that I can tell unless they're hiding from me but uh, it's interesting though those, those men are all gone you know and they have moved on from the city and from the the shelter and the whole family life down there you know so I mean what does that say what does that say about homeless people you know uh, what does that say about uh, uh, gay people, you know? Um, what does that say about, uh, uh, you know, gay people who have, you know, safe places is the term maybe, uh, perhaps, I need to look at, you know, that they are secure and they're housed and everything like that. Um, so I don't know, you know, they're still here you know and they're still safe and uh they're still not talking and they're still not acting and uh but you know hey life goes on you know um i'm reminded of uh Tennessee, Tennessee william character that he wrote in one of his plays Tennessee williams was gay probably the greatest american playwright too by the way he wrote a part, uh, a character named Blanche, and I believe it's Streetcar, and uh, and it. Somebody asks her, like, "What do you do? What's your living? What you know? How do you how do you get by day to day?" 
and uh, to paraphrase, and she replies something like, uh, well, I rely on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> okay. Um, so, hey, you know, so do a lot of people, you know, especially if you're homeless and you need love or you need shelter or if you need love and shelter, you know, and those you get it from are the ones who are homeless and not the ones, you know with locked doors.